As WikiLeaks releases another batch of emails from Hillary Clinton's campaign, RT presents the next part of an exclusive interview given by the Whistleblowers website's co-founder Julian Assange to renowned docu documentary maker John Pilger and Dartmouth Films. Uh, they discuss one of the most shocking leaked letters, which allegedly proves that Hillary Clinton knew the Saudi government has been directly funding Islamic State. Auntie's Polly Boyker investigates. The closer it gets to the U.S. elections, the juicier the WikiLeaks revelations become. And the man behind all this isn't shy about meeting out his own judgments, too. The editor of WikiLeaks, Julian Assange, has spoken exclusively to veteran journalist and filmmaker John Pilger for his company, Dartmouth Films. They spoke here at London's Ecuadorian embassy. And in that interview, John Pilger asked Julian Assange the questions that a lot of his detractors probably want to see answered. Things like, why the vendetta against Hillary Clinton? And does he have a thing for Donald Trump? What is WikiLeaks doing? Are they trying to put Trump in the White House? Trump would not be permitted to win. Banks, in, intelligence, uh, arms companies, well, they all want him. Beat foreign money, etc. Yeah, is all united uh, beh behind Hillary, Hillary Clinton, mm. and uh, and the media as well. Mm. Uh, so uh, media owners uh, and even journalists themselves. Donald Trump's lack of support from any corner of any establishment is pretty much the opposite of the situation that Hillary Clinton is in. But can too much support be a bad thing, especially when it lumps you in a club with some pretty dubious members? There's a early 2014 email from Hillary Clinton, so not so long after she left Secretary of State, to her campaign manager, John Podesta. Mm. Uh, that email, it states uh, that ISIL, ISIS, is uh, funded by Saudi Arabia and Qatar, mm. the governments of Saudi Arabia and Qatar. Now, th this is a, I actually, I think this is the most significant email in the whole collection. ISIL or ISIS uh, is created largely with money from the very people who are giving money to the Clinton Foundation. Yes. That's extraordinary. For anyone who dismissed these suggestions as far-fetched, there it is in startlingly simple terms. Julian Assange is saying he has proof that the world's most brutal terrorists and the Clinton Foundation have been bankrolled by the same people. You can sink your teeth into that and hear more from the man who's thrown spanner after spanner in the works of the Clinton campaign in John Pilger's full interview with Julian Assange here on RT on Saturday. It follows previous reports of Clinton admitting Saudis were funding terrorist groups worldwide, including Islamic State. A political commentator, Marwa Osman, says it's hard to believe the Democratic Party candidate is still competing for the U.S. presidency in the wake of these revelations. ISIS or Daesh has been uh, getting its fund, obviously, by none other than Gulf states. We had reports that prove that. So why should it be any surprise that Hillary or any other part of the Obama administration at that time knew about this? And why should it be a surprise that the Clinton Foundation actually received money from uh, these people, in specific the Al Saud monarchy inside the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, who themselves publicly announced that uh, Saudi Arabia support and fund the Clinton Foundation and they would like to see Hillary Clinton as the next president of uh, the United States of America. So I'm surprised that the, uh, that the U.S. media did not talk about this, that's number one. And the second thing, that the, uh, the uh, U.S. public still sees Hillary Clinton as an actual normal candidate for the highest office, the president of the United me. States of America. Now, despite numerous allegations of war crimes by the Saudi-led coalition in Yemen, Washington continues to supply arms and provide military support to Riyadh. In 2015 alone, the U.S. provided the Saudis with a weapons worth a total of $20 billion. Now, you can now watch the full version of Julian Assange's exclusive interview to join Pilger and Dartmouth Films here on RT on Saturday.